Alright, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon to all of you. Um, so today we are going to uh, have uh, another session of our PDCA tuition, uh, English tuition class. Okay, so um, today we are going to focus on grammar. Okay, uh, adverbs of manner. Manner, um, boleh juga di sama ertikan dengan Mana tu adalah perlakuan. Atau activity. How does an activity being carried out by a person? Okay, uh, bagaimana sesuatu activity tu dilakukan oleh seseorang? So please refer to your uh, PDCA module, page 171, okay? Uh, so you will have a set of notes, okay? Satu set notes yang memberi contoh-contoh uh, macam ni. Jadi, uh, kamu boleh baca, you can read, okay, some examples given by the, um, by the teachers who wrote the book. Okay, daripada cikgu-cikgu yang telah menulis buku ni. Okay, so um, you can see 24 verbs. Ada 24 kata kerja dengan um, some related adverbs to describe the verbs. Okay, so the function of adverbs. Fungsi adverbs ni. Adverbs adalah addition to verbs. Adverbs are addition to verbs. Okay? Additions ni maksudnya tambahan. Tambahan kepada kata kerja. Okay. So, refer to the example given. The lion roared loudly in the jungle. So, the word with li. Roared loudly. Loudly is the adverb. Okay, adverb tu ada loudly, raw tu verb. Kalau tak ada loudly, ayat tu still betul. Okay, the sentence is still correct. The lion roared in the jungle. Lion, singa itu mengaum di dalam hutan. Roar. Okay, roar ni verb. Okay, how did the lion roar in the jungle? Macam mana singa tu mengaum dalam hutan? Okay, the sentence is already correct, right? Hmm, ayat ni dah betul. Tapi kamu hanya perlu kan perkataan tambahan untuk explain how did the lion roar? Macam mana bunyi ngauman tu? Okay, macam mana dia mengaum? How? So, we have to plus the adverb. Kita kena tambah adverb dekat sini. The lion roared loudly in the jungle. Singa itu Word is the verb. Okay, loudly is the adverb. Perkataan tambahan. So, you have to understand that the adverbs are additions to verbs. That's why we call the verbs. That's why we call the words adverbs. Sebab tu kita panggil dia adverbs. Perkataan tambahan. Tanpa adverb. Ayat still betul. Okay, the sentence is still correct. But then, you cannot um, describe the verb precisely. Kamu tak boleh nak um, menerangkan dengan lebih uh, jelas dan tepat tentang bagaimana sesuatu uh, pekerjaan, aktiviti atau perlakuan tu um, uh, dilakukan. Okay? Hmm. Alright, so let's look at some examples here. 
So we are going to use the verb and the adverb to get to know more about adverbs and the functions. So when you use the verb and you want to further explain how does a person carry out the activity for example the activity here is speak okay uh, activity yang dilakukan oleh seorang tu speak speak tu berkata-kata okay how does a person speak at that moment bagaimana seorang tu bercakap pada masa itu adakah dia bercakap dengan lembut okay bercakap dengan lembut verb so the adverb is softly speak softly speak politely dengan sopan speak clearly dengan jelas so can you see there are three adverbs to describe the verb speak Okay, so let's look at the second one, walked. Walked is the verb. Berjalan. How did the person walk? Bagaimana seseorang tu berjalan? Sama ada dia berjalan dengan tergesa-gesa? Hurriedly. Walked slowly. Dengan perlahan. He walked weakly Dengan lemah Maybe that person is sick Okay, it's not feeling very well And then you can see You can write in your sentence Walked weakly Berjalan dengan keadaan yang lemah Okay, tidak ada kekuatan Okay And then next one The verb is waiting, menunggu, sedang menunggu. How did the person wait? Bagaimana seorang tu menunggu? Adakah dia menunggu dengan sabar? Patiently, was waiting patiently dengan sabar. Was waiting eagerly Dengan tidak sabar-sabar Okay ha. Eagerly Okay And then Next one sing And then the past tense for sing Is sang Sing sweetly Dengan merdu Sang cheerfully Dengan Cheerfully Maksudnya dengan Gembira Dengan ceria So can you see the functions? All the words with N, with Li, okay, the suffix Li, if you notice, okay, the adverbs N with the suffix Li, perkataan yang berakhir dengan Li, Li ni, most of them are adverbs. So afterwards, you may carry out um, the activities from page 172 until 174. There are three pages there and th uh, 20 multiple choice questions. Ada 20 soalan ABC uh, beraneka pilihan. So, click the Google form and uh, choose the correct answer. All the best. Thank you.